so much for joining us, president of the Louisiana Justice Institute. We're going to turn now to poet and performer Sunny Patterson. She's from the Lower Ninth Ward, but like thousands of the city's residents, had been forced to live outside and is now based in Houston, Texas. Sunny joined us on Democracy Now! when we were broadcasting from the Lower Ninth Ward on the second anniversary of Hurricane Katrina in 2007. She read some of her poetry about the storm. So we know this place, um, for we have glanced more times than we'd like to share into eyes that stare with nothing there behind them but an unfulfilled wish and an unconscious yearning for life, though death rests comfortably beside us at night, their moans are louder. They come to visit the guards at the gate and they stay until morning, torturing their guilt-written insides. The silent cries of the keepers are louder than the booms that come from the guns they use to occupy the space. And we know this place, for we have seen more times than we like to imagine bloated cadavers floating through through waters of a city gone savage, foraging the land for what can be salvaged, but what can be saved when all is lost. It happened in August, 29 days in. We are now five days out of the only place we knew to call house and home. Few things are certain. One, we have no food. Two, there are more bodies lying at the roadside than hot plates being distributed or first aid being administered or recognition as a citizen. 14th Amendment, X, refugee, check. Sunny Patterson performing in the Lower Ninth Ward on, live on Democracy Now! three years ago. Sunny Patterson, welcome to Democracy Now! Your thoughts on this fifth anniversary. You no longer live in New Orleans. You're in Houston. Talk about what it feels like to be back in New Orleans. Well, you know, of course, New Orleans is home. Thank you for uh, allowing me to be on the show this morning. But, um, you know, we've been talking about this fifth anniversary uh, and the difference uh, that you feel uh, with this uh, this particular anniversary. The um, It's much more of a hoopla, <laughs> we could say, uh, that, that comes with it. Um, it's still unbelievable to me at the same time. Um, yesterday we had an event. Uh, in what's called uh, Hunters Field. We started uh, over in the Ninth Ward and second line down to uh, 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 this uh, park area uh, called Hunters Field, but it rained all day uh, yesterday. And to see at the same time again the people uh, stand there um, just to even call the names of people that they know uh, that they have lost uh, in the hurricane. And even as a result um, uh, after the hurricane, uh, people that have been lost to uh, post traumatic traumatic stress, uh, uh, you know, uh, heart attacks, uh, cancers that have been festering and all kinds of other health uh, overdoses uh, that we've been uh, dealing with. Um, so to see these things and then at the same time to still see a glimmer of hope in the people's eyes um, is still an amazing, amazing thing. I know for myself not being able to be in the city uh, full time is something that still tugs at my heart, of course. Um, but what I do know is that, um, you know, we have a lot of work to do, and I know that um, uh, wherever I am, I'm, I'm certainly going to uh, be a cultural ambassador, you know, for the city uh, to bring uh, uh, bring a light to uh, every uh, injustice and even bring a light to, you know, uh, all of the stories of hope and victory and resiliency that um, go on every day and every moment. Sonny Patterson, is there a new poem you'd like to share with us? We only have a few minutes left. We only have a few minutes? Okay, I can. Um, uh, we have not always found, uh, we have not always found comfort in killers. We have not always found solace being rocked in the bosoms of those who silently pray and openly destroy. No, not always have we mistaken mimicry for mastery, or pretending for knowing, or enslavement for freedom. But across my memory, across my memory marches millions bold, regal, resilient, confident, unshackled feet stumping up spirits to guide us through this fickle material world. We, we like sun and moon folk, universal souls praying our prayers 
singing our songs a shoe o gun shango ye moja o shun o batala o ya dambala ai the way dorora nkango olodumari and yame we know all of you by name we we are people of beginnings of culture of strength not always have we given in to the empty threats and scare tactics of the powerless ones not always have we allowed the blood of our sons and daughters to color the streets while we're walking asleep marching to the beat of death siren song they're still wearing their sheets with nooses in reach showing their teeth and smiling it seems but i hear in the breeze in the rustle of the trees and the dangling of the feet they say please don't let them ever forget you see not always have we suffered from amnesia not always have we forgotten how to conjure up spirits ancestor wisdom fix up a mixture spiritual elixir ancient traditions we like magicians god like vision we we are people of sight so no not always have we fallen for this oaky doke or inhaled the hazardous smoke of the manipulators or been satisfied with crumbs from meals our hands have prepared hugh said life for us ain't been no crystal stair but at least the steps are there to push us up higher teach us how to go beyond the destroyers disguises look them in the eyes and be able to see because what's surprising when you know the nature of a beast and especially when they've shown the same face for centuries so you tell me, what's the difference between two sisters in New Orleans shot point blank in the back of the head and two women bombed in their car in Baghdad? Or government sanctioned killings in Kenya and a sister held hostage in a house in Virginia? Or poverty in Haiti, poverty in Jamaica, rape in Rwanda or rape in Somalia, a sweatshop in China or one in Guatemala, or smallpox and blankets, syphilis in Tuskegee, formaldehyde and FEMA, ethnic cleansing and Katrina, I recall within the speech Dr. King made us aware, he said injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere, so they can spare us that drama, huh? We got the heart of them field-working mamas. We carry the torture that ancestors the fire, so with every fiber that flutters in our being, with every find that comes from our seeking, with every hearing that comes from our listening, and every sight that comes from our seeing, we must be faithful, strategic victorious and free. Thank you, Sonny Patterson. Jordan Flaherty, I want to end with you. Sonny talked about amnesia. What lessons can people around the world learn from the resilience of the people in New Orleans as Pakistan faces the worst floods in a hundred years, Haiti recovering from the earthquake, disasters natural and unnatural? What community-based lessons can people learn? Uh, it's really hard to speak after Sonny Patterson. Uh, my breath is taken away. Um, I think that there's so many important lessons to learn, again, from the grassroots resistance, from the organizing, from the communities coming together. I think we, learn, we need to learn not to give money to Red Cross and these big mm -hmm. charities that are not accountable to the communities that are most in need. We need to find the folks in the grassroots and find ways to support them. We need to understand that this system uh, causes crisis, and so that there will always be more of these crises, and we need to look out for the corporations that will try to profit off these crises, what Naomi Klein has called the shock doctrine, these politicians that try to use this crisis to take away power from the people and control from the people and shift over to, um, to more corporate control, more privatization. But there are communities in, in Haiti, in New Orleans, in Five Pakistan seconds. that are that are rising up and organizing, and so we need to support these communities. Thank you again for Democracy Now! for all you do to spread the word about Thanks, this. Thanks, Jordan. Jordan Flaherty, community organizer, writer in New Orleans, the author of Floodlines, Community and Resistance from Katrina to the Gina Six. Thanks also to Sunny P Patterson, poet from the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans. This is Democracy Now! Thanks for watching.